Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Sun Nuzlocke. And today we are starting off in Howley City, just where we ended off last episode. And I believe what we have to do now is head down towards the Molosada shop so we can run into Howl. Uh, so let's just do that. But before we do, real quickly, let's have a... Whoops. Chrome notification, go away. It's not a good time. All right, you know, I'll, I'll sort that later. If it pops up again, we'll deal with it. Anyway, I was going to say, how do I get rid of them? But it's not something I need to figure out now. What we're trying to figure out now is um, having a quick team recap. And as you guys can tell, we have, we have a full team of six. The first member of our party is our event, uh, Rock Rough, which you guys can see here has Tackle, Bite, Fire Fang, and Happy Hour. And, you know, I'm going to move Fire Fang to the top because Tackle is not something I'm going to use very often. Then we have our battery, which is a Grubbin with Vice Grip, String Shot, and Mud Slap. Then we have our starter, Rallet, which is rocking Leafage, Peck, Astonish, and Tackle. Then we have Dopey, our Slowpoke, with Curse, Yawn, Tackle, Ground. Not too useful yet, hoping we will learn a Water Gun or Water Type move very, very soon. But for right now, Yawn is going to be useful for catching Pokemon, which is great. And then we have our Garbet, the uh, female version of Garboo. Who has an incredible nature, actually. Look at that. Minus special attack for defense. That's awesome. And we're rocking Pound, Poison, Gas, Harden, and Bite. And then finally, we have our water Pokemon that does have a water type attack. And actually a really good flying type attack, too, for level 9. Wow, I'm impressed. Uh, we have Pico with Water Gun, Growl, Supersonic, and Wing Attack. Don't ask me why I read that in the wrong order. I'm just, I don't know, all over the place. Regardless, that's the team we have right now. And I think I love that team recap it always reminds me to check... Uh, the strength of my team. So I think what we'll do is we'll chuck we'll chuck a uh, Rowlet in front because it does it is our starter, and we'll continue in a way. If you guys aren't aware, we do have the EXP share and it's currently on. I'm gonna play it by ear, but I've been playing this game uh, on my Ultra Sun copy in order to like you know smash the game, make this item guys that you may have seen spammed and stuff like that. And I've noticed that the EXP share has kept me on a very very good level with um with everything around me. So we'll play it by ear in this game if somehow I get ahead. Because in that game I've been running really quickly through it and I've been kind of blatantly ignoring uh, encou encounters on routes and stuff like that. So I might have been skipping stuff. I don't know. Regardless, how's it chum? If you're looking for good eats, you found them. Also, as I've been playing my um, moon copy, I've been trying out different voices of different characters just to see if I can really hit a different note for everyone. And it's a struggle. It's a real struggle. Plus, while the side of make your Pokemon like you, and affectionate Pokemon are better in battle. Who could have just given their Pokemon a few Malasadas, eh? They're just so cute. Yo, 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 check it. Whenever, wherever we meet you, Team Skull don't even greet you. It seems like a greeting to me, to be quite honest. I mean, he said, yo, 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 so it makes me think he was like, yo, what up? Kind of thing. But Team Skull is back. Yo, you want to throw us a bone and hand over those Island Challenge amulets to us now? Oh, so you're part of team, that Team Skull, huh? All you guys ever do is steal totem stickers and people's Pokemon and get in the way of all other people's Pokemon challenges. Pokemon Island challenges. What did I just say? Island challenges. You know it. We hate the Island challenge, yo. And every kid fool enough to try it. Yo, let's check these fools. Chum, come on. Let's teach these Team Skull jerks not to get in the way of anybody's Island challenge. You're about to get blown back, boy. Yo, check how I changed the game with my mad Pokemon skills. You know, they say they have mad Pokemon skills, like they talk themselves up, but you'd think if they were actually good at, at Pokemon battling and, you know, with Pokemon, they would have completed the Island Challenge. Who knows? Or maybe they were bad, because I think the Island Challenge is like a teenage thing. You can't be an adult. Like, you can't be over the age of 20 and partake or do even be the captain of a trial. So, maybe they were bad. Up until they were 20 and then they got good. Why did I change to this Pokemon when I have to go up against a, a Zubat? Otherwise, like, we'll stay in and go for a peck. How much damage are going to do? Decent amount. We get Super Sonic? I'm not interested. What level is this thing? I want to get some experience with someone in the back. Should we get some experience on uh, Pika? No, no dude, Garbet. Hello? Garbet's going to be a carry. You're gonna, you don't even realize how much of a carry Garbet is going to be. Like... This Pokemon has such great typing for so many battles, and especially this one that I have in this game, which is uh, defense boosting nature. Oh, it's going to be so, so useful. I can't even wait. Also, I just realized 
I don't think I read out Garbet's moveset. Uh, it, ha it has bite in it, and I click pound. Which is just completely stupid. Let's go for bite. Take an absorb. Watch the zero damage. One damage, same thing. Alright. Bite, this should take it out, no problem, if after what Pound did, and it does. And I believe this guy only has one Pokemon, he might have more. But the music hasn't changed, so maybe he does have more. Or does the music change afterwards? I think it changed afterwards. Yeah, there we go. We defeated that first Team Skull Drum. For real? Over already? See, this, this is how we do it. This is how we... I can't wait to use Alolan Muck in the Let's Play, if we ever get that far. No fair! I was playing a different game. Let's get up out of this port, B. Nobody has to know about this. We don't need your whack little amulet anyway. Wouldn't even take him if you gave him to us. I mean, you guys have your own cool little, like, necklaces, right? Like, you don't need the Island Challenge amulet. Also, before this episode, I forgot I was wearing this Hawaiian shirt, and I love it. I absolutely love it. The team, Those Team Skull Jerks really must have too much time on their hands, yeah? But keeping other people from doing the Island Challenge isn't going to make it like they managed to finish theirs, you know? I already went down to the marina and screamed out over the ocean, Watch out, world! Someday I'm going to beat even my old Gramps in our all-out serious battle. So maybe I'll try to find some more totem stickers next. See you around. Alright. I love that outfit, actually. I really do love it. What a lovely battle you showed us there against those Team Skull. My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't I heal them to express my, grat my gratitude? Thank you. This game he auto heals you a lot. It's kind of surprising. I must admit, I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer school. Professor Kukui brought you along, and you and your Pokemon seem to defeat our teacher so effortlessly. Very well then, allow me to see if you're ready for my trial. Yes. This may have been a bad idea. Behold, the magnificent Pokemon of the one and only Captain Alima. I feel like Rowlet in the lead might be a bad idea. We'll find out. I know this guy has a Smeagol, which is a pain in the butt the first Nuzlocke because it, it had bloody, what do you call it? It had, um... Ember. That's the one. And at the time, in that Nuzlocke, my entire team was like, yeah, Rowlet, Rowlet, Rowlet. That was it. Like, I didn't care about anyone else. But this time, I think Garbu and or... Fish can handle it. Garbet, sorry, not Garbu. Garbet, it's a female. That did nothing. Watch me get breakneck blitz out of nowhere and die. Another one. Why are we doing such a little damage? Are we like attack long in nature? No, I've already looked at our nature. It's not bad. Why, why are we getting, why are we getting destroyed? Oh my god. Yo, we're gonna die to a crit. Please don't actually let that happen. But we could die to a crit. No, we are going to. Speaking of crit. We have an orange berry. Yes. Means we can go for another attack. We should live another one, right? That's exactly half HP, pretty much. Yeah, we should live another one. Oh, he used the potion too. What a cheater! At least I used a held item. I didn't even use an actual proper healing item. I'm scumbag. You know, what? because of that, because of that disrespect, I'm gonna stay in here with Rallet and I, actually, no, I should switch. I've been leered. Oh my goodness! For some reason. My heart just sank, even though that was the exact, that not the exact, but that was pretty much exactly what I was expecting from the damage. I still got so unbearably scared by that HP dropping. I thought it was a crit. Whew. Too close for comfort, I'll tell you that much. Oh, because I'm level 8. Oh, I was like, how does that math check out? Defense 17 with 41 HP. And what's this guy? Defense 50. Ah, oh, that's what it is. We have so much lower HP. Alright, we have to swap out to um, Rock Rock then. Because no one else can take a... Um, can take a tackle like that. Hopefully Rock Rock will save the day. What on earth is this young goose made of? Go for Fire Fang. Get the burn. Honestly, if this, if, if, if this Pokemon missed its first Fire Fang, I was never going to use the move again. We get a crit and a pursuit. 
Okay, I was gonna say, I was like, hang on a second. This isn't resisted. I know it's not stabbed, but it isn't resisted. I hate only having medicine that can't even heal me fully. That's so tilting. Like, I'm at, I'm at that point in my Pokemon Ultra Sun playthrough where Hyper Potions don't fully heal me, and it's just like, uh, can we not? We did figure out this Pokemon does not outspeed me, correct? So we can just freely go for a bite and get the damage off? Yes, we can. Cool. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, Smeagol's gonna come in. We definitely can't one-shot this thing, which means we're gonna have to take it very, very carefully. And Garbat grows level 9, which is awesome for us. I want Garbat to become a more, like, viable member of the team. Uh, no, we're gonna keep battling. Yeah, we're gonna keep battling. Like, if it was if it was regular playthrough that I was in right now, I probably would have switched into Grubbin or someone, sacked it off just to get my full health back, and then called it a day. But this is a Nuzlocke. You know, we can't go around sacking up Pokemon left and right. That's just not fair. And honestly, that's one of my biggest fears about this playthrough is, is taking it too casually because I've been playing so much Pokemon um, in just you know regular playthrough mode that I feel like I'm gonna get to that point where eventually. I'm gonna forget that this is a Nuzlocke challenge, and I'm gonna do something stupid, take some insane, unnecessary risk, and lose a Pokemon, which is, as I'm sure you guys can understand, the last thing I'd ever want to happen. Now, I gotta be really careful, because in this game, the trainers like to do weak moves, and then suddenly mix up and go for the KO. That's happened to me several times in my Moon Let's Play. Not really Let's Play, I say like it's a series, but in my Moon playthrough, because like, they'll be using, like, some garbage move. Like, I had a Milotic use Icy Wind on my Pokemon. And I was like, oh, so you, you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna kill me with thing arrow attacks. They did, like, a little bit of damage. And they're not gonna go for, like, Hydro Pump or something better. And I was like, okay, fine. We, sh we should have no problem. I attack again. After my speed dropped, they now outsped me, went for Hydro Pump, and blitzed, like, the remaining 70% of my HP. I had a heart attack. Because I thought that I used a full heal. When I saw the word full heal, I didn't read the name, I just saw full heal, and I was like, wait. Then I clicked the wrong item, then I realized I wasn't status, and I was like, okay, I should be fine then. Uh, and then I saw that, obviously, that I saw that it was a Lima. But yeah, definitely think that I'm going to uh, lose Pokemon to my foolishness and not being careful enough. In fact, you know what? Let's make it the common question of the day. What do you think is most likely to make me lose a Pokemon? So that could be like, oh, you know, could it be, you think, crits? Could it be not knowing my opponent's move set? Because that happened a bunch too in my Ultra Moon playthrough as well. I was like, I had my Raichu out against a Bruxish, and I was like, cool, we got this. I'll just hit it with a Thunderbolt, or a Discharge, which is what I had. And then it used Crunch and killed me, and I was like... Okay, not even crit, nothing. It just outsped me, crunched me, killed me. That was it. It was game over. Really, really crazy. And I'm kind of worried that if we do happen to get a Raichu, it's going to be pretty garbage. Uh, let's keep our moves. We don't really need Howl. It's honestly, in my opinion, better to go for two attacks than go for a Howl and an attack, and... These battles don't usually last long enough to, you know, make the Howl matter in the long run. Plus, I want to keep the move happy out because it makes you, it lets you earn mad money. Now, Slowpoke is making strides. Uh, let's get rid of Growl. We're not going to use that. I don't think we're ever going to use Curse either, but let's, let's just get rid of Growl. Yo, real talk. Speaking of moves at lower stats, in my Moon playthrough, one of the most clutch things in the game was the move Charm. Every time I went up against a totem Pokemon, I spammed Charm to get that thing's attack to zero so I could actually survive the battle, and it was crazy. It was very fun. You, you, or should I say your Pokemon, or should I say you and your Pokemon, make quite an interesting team. I do hope you come to Verdant Cavern and attempt the trial, the trial of a Lima. You can get there on Route 2. That Pokedex of yours will show you the way. I bid you Alola. I'm not too sure how I want to do this guy's voice, but I feel like what we're doing right now should be satisfactory. Yeah, you beat the captain. I'm not going to read out what wrote up says. not important. Anyway, let's run around a little bit. Let's grab the sticker. I've made some pretty significant progress in my uh, other playthrough with the stickers. I believe I have 75 or something. I think there might only be 100, which is kind of wild. Uh, maybe there's more than 100, but it's like the target is 100. There's a TM back there. I believe it's echoed voice, which might come in handy for our team. I'll grab it in a second. You know, I don't really care for your items that you're gonna give me. Actually, I say that, but I would have lost the other. I would have lost the Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke if it wasn't for X items. So I shouldn't talk garbage to it. But at the same time, the game now has Rotom Boosts, which are probably better because I can raise all my stats at once rather than just raising uh, one stat by two stages. Kind of in interesting stuff right there. Anyway, let's make our way down here because I believe there's an item at the end of this little thing. Yep, there is, and there's a sticker. 
a super potion. That's going to come in handy. I could use that in that previous fight. But I'm glad we managed to survive nonetheless. This rough rough has been super, super clutch. And honestly, the more clutch it comes in, the more I'm kind of like, I'm probably only still in this Nuzlocke because of the event rough rough. But, I mean, it's fine. While it is a Nuzlocke challenge and it's meant to be pretty serious, this is more so just like a fun Nuzlocke, just to, to spice up the Let's Play on the channel. Less so than be like, oh, I'm the greatest Pokemon trainer alive. I'm going to grab this totem sticker as well. In fact, I completely... No, I have got my encounter here. What am I talking about? I was going to say, I completely forgot I need to get my encounter in the city, but I already, I've already done that. So, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, let's go grab this Echo Voice TM, because you never know who might need it. I doubt anyone will need it, but you know, like I said, you never know. Don't, don't touch me. Yo, I didn't realize how much... Sorry, how little grass there was at the bottom area of this thing. It's pretty easy to run through. I do like how lots of areas in this game... Well, I do like how lots of areas in this game allow you to walk through the grass and patches without actually stepping in the grass. Like, um, I mean, you saw in the trainer school episode, I was able to get to that train at the bottom of the grass area without touching any blades of grass. Um, I should heal up. The only reason I'm switching into Grime right now is just because I knew we could take an attack. I wasn't going to risk trying to run and not being able to run away. Uh, but now we should be able to run away because we're the same Pokemon. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Do we believe that we can get through this last bit of grass without touching a Pokemon? Cool. We made it. Awesome. Perfection. All right. Let's go heal up. Because I don't want to lose Pokemon. In fact, when I was going through the grinding one charge, I noticed there were lots of times where I lost Pokemon to stupid mistakes. Like, um, I lost my Gengar once because I didn't... Um, heal up my Rock Rock. And I remember in that battle, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, I was going to switch out Gengar. But then I realized that Rock Rock was on my health. So I used Gengar's turn or Gengar's move to heal up. And then Gengar, sorry, you know, Gengar, what am I talking about? Ghastly. And then Ghastly died. And I was like, oh, great. This is how you Nuzlocke, boys. This is how you Nuzlocke. I'm not sure how I feel about having Grubber on the team. I don't think he's going to be the most useful member. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Regardless, right now. Um, Rotom is looking very, very sad, and I'm not a fan of that. Now Rotom's happy, that's what I want to see. Let's, let's, let's use some money. Speaking of money, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this game has what they call Komo'o Armor. I know, sounds crazy. You probably think I'm crazy, but it's a true story. This game has Komo'o Armor. You can buy a, an outfit that is literally designed around Komo'o, including a helmet that looks like its head. And that full set cost you 2.4 million. And I've been making that grind in my son uh, on my Ultra Moon game because I do desperately, desperately want to get that outfit and rock it all the time. Anyway. Oh, wait for me, chum. It's odd seeing Lily back in her old outfit given that I've been playing Moon and I've been seeing her in the, you know, the new outfit. Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you, you're moving on to your first trial. You're going to Verdant Cavern. I read something in an old book once. It said the island challenges was once a journey made to prove yourself and gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola. Like Tapu Koko. The people in Iki Town said that Tapu Koko loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we could meet Tapu Koko once more, do you think we would finally find an answer as to why it saved you and Nebby that day? As much as I love the animation, it kind of cuts up content or like, you know, conversations. Oh yes, please take these. They're called revives. They're useless to me, woman. If you use one on a Pokemon that has fainted, it will recover and feel a little bit better. I once thought about doing a Nuzlocke where like you actually got second chances, so any revives you found in the, in the overworld would actually give you a revive on a Pokemon, as long as it died in like the last like few minutes. Um, or you have to use the revive in battle to bring it back and, and risk losing someone else, or in the same battle it died. Uh, but that game, that would not work in this game because they give you like 50 revives. It'd be too easy. Chum, good luck on your first trial. I hope that it goes well for you. Alright, let's do it. What's all this shenanigans? Alright, what are we going to do? See, I know what we have to do. We have to grab it by the horns. Which is probably the thing that I thought was going to be the least safe for us to do. But the game says, you know what? Just grab a Taurus by the horns. Show him his boss. Huh. 
maybe Otoro is here can feel your, your love for your Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know and yet know you, and yet it seems like to, it, to me like Taurus wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. Ha! I realized that the last time I talked to him, I didn't actually read his lines. What? You want to play tag now? The Melee Melee Kahuna never loses, friend. Let him go. I love Hala. He has a great personality. Speaking of great personality, this has nothing to do with that, but we have Route 2, which means we get a new encounter. But first, we have to talk to the random dude here. No, we're going to talk to the girl. Welcome, trial goer. You think you can handle the ordeal of defeating a beauty? Yo. Do you think you can handle getting blown back by my Rowlet? Probably not. And beauty crystal. I gotta say, I do love their training design. They look, they look really amazing. Actually, I love a lot of the training design in this game. Like, half the time through the playthrough, I was like, yo, these trainers look sick. I wish we could get all the things that make different... Um, trainer class is unique as our items. Like, I'd love to get that hairstyle on a female character, you know, that outfit. It'd be, it'd be nice. It'd be a nice change of place to actually kind of dress up as your favorite um, trainer class. Not that I personally want to do it, but I think like the options right now are still super limited. Again, I was talking about how I want there to be more hairstyles. There's like one new hairstyle, literally the one that um, we start off with, and everything else is the exact same. It's just like, to me, it's really boring. You know, I want more from my customization options. And to think that they'd like, they'd add one new hairstyle. They'd literally be like, okay, cool. We need to change up the trainer's looks because that's what we always do in these games. And of course they never had to do it in Pokemon X and Y because they never revamped um, Serena or Callum. And so they revamped you and said, hey, this is the only new haircut you're getting. Sorry, boss. Which is kind of unfortunate. And I think I mentioned it many times in the, in the past, but I personally, I uh, prefer all my characters to be wearing, you know, sleeved clothes. Like you can see I'm wearing a sleeve shirt right now, not just sleeveless, which to me is pretty like, you know, that, that's what I prefer to wear. And yet the game's like, oh, if you want any cool patterns on your shirt, you have to have no sleeves. Uh, just in case you were wondering what that guy was saying, he's talking about this Pokemon over here that is like super sketch. And I'm actually, you know, I'm not going to get my... I was going to say I'm not going to get my encounter here because I don't like the Pokemon in this patch of grass, but, um, yeah, mistakes were made. So, let's, um, let's catch it. I mean, it'll save me from having to catch an Ekans later. I, I almost went to run, and I was like, wait, that's not what I want to do. All right, so we should be able to safely go for another one and not kill it. If we do kill it, then bad luck. I'm probably not going to use this Pokemon. I don't see any reason I would use it. Uh, but you never know, we might come down into a very dangerous situation where we need a poison type, and uh, oh my god, I completely forgot there was a poison type. And that, you know, poison types are scary to a Rowlet. Um, but yeah, we might need this in the future, we'll see what happens. Let's throw a Pokeball at it, and what are we going to call it? What are we going to call it? It's a poison snake, which literally has... Yo. We should make it a really garbage nickname, and put it backwards. What do you think? What about reptile backwards? What, is, what does that spell? I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Rept because snakes are reptiles. It's gonna be reptile backwards. All right, let's do it. Um, how would you even spell that backwards? It's gonna be weird, but I'm gonna try it. Also, in case you haven't noticed this episode, my nose has been very, very itchy. I don't know what th what that's about, but that's what life is. Snake Pokemon. By dissipating its joy, it can swallow prey larger than itself. After a meal, it curls up and rests. All right. Give me a nickname. Reptile, I'm going to actually write the word down somewhere so I can read it backwards because it's, it's too confusing to think about it in my head. Alright. So, E, L, I, T, P, R. Yo. That is a cool looking name. Elipa. Whoops, I don't want to add you to my party. What am I doing? Elipa. I mean, it could be cooler, but you know what? I'll take it. I will take that. I like this nickname. It is very cool. All right, so that's our encounter for Route 2. I would have liked to get something different, but I mean, I can't complain too much. What we are going to do, though, we're going to make our way down to Memorial Hill, I believe it's called. Quick talk to this lady. Many trainers visit. Our cemetery, where Pokemon rest to pay their respects. 
Okay, cool. That was a pretty bad old lady voice. It was it was a bit it was a bit like half committed. All right, so Harley Cemetery is here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our encounter. Before we do that, let's grab this item. Don't battle me. I'm not ready for you. Paralyze heal. Man, these items are so useless because of um, uh, Pokemon Refresh. Which is kind of watch thing. You, you know, I'm just gonna chuck another orange berry on you to make you safe. My last orange berry. So we can, you know, heal up mid battle. We should be fine. Battle me. I love the animations of trainers that are gonna battle you. It's very, very cool. I'm a fan. And I also like that uh, that trainers will uh, just stand there and not walk up to you. Like, like I'm imagining they're like, I see you. Let's battle. And like in that animation, that's what they they stay there and they throw Pokemon out in between them. And it just looks cool. In my head, of course, not in reality, because I can't see it in reality. All right. A uh, picky peck is here. I think it's time we get Garbu or Garbet some uh, battling experience. Not just like experience points, but actually getting Garbet some time in battle so that we can uh, level her up. Should we take a peck? Should it do too much damage? Yeah, perfection. Look at this Pokemon. It's amazing. I can't believe how much damage Young Goose's, um, sorry, Elima's Young Goose did. It was so much damage. I thought for a split second that was a Fury attack, and that was just one hit of it. Also, I know, I'm sorry, I keep using the wrong move. Rock Smash. It's trying out its entire moveset on me. That was not a bad play, though. Okay, we still destroyed it. Oh, because it's Stab. I was like, oh, it's 50% more powerful. No, it's way more powerful than that because of Stab as well. In fact, it's like base 90 versus base 40. It's more than twice as strong. I shouldn't bother with Pound at all. We defeated Officer Worker Jeremy. Office Worker, not Officer Worker Jeremy. He's not working at the Officer. Right, let's grab this other item here. A Super Potion. I think that reminds me actually I should heal up Garbu. Again, one of those things where I'm just like, I'm not really paying it to- God damn it. Every time with these menus, man, I get completely bamboozled. Alright, let's restore our HP with a quick potion. Can I sort the items all in here? Yes, we can. Cool, perfect. Because I noticed that plenty of times in my other playthrough, I was getting very, very lost and like, oh, how do I how do I sort my items? I just never stopped to open the bag and do it. And I tried to do it in the uh, other menu. Oh, a little girl and a TM. For confide, which I really don't think I need, but we'll grab it anyway. What are you going to show me, little girl? What kind of Pokemon are you going to use against me today? I have I have one thing that I really like about these pre, these little um, these like preschooler girl um, trainers, which I'll explain to you at the end of the battle because that's that's um the only time I can explain it to you. But it's gonna sound really weird. I realize that in hindsight, but just trust me, it's not creepy. I just want to show you like I'll, I'll explain to you the thing that I like about these, these trainers at the end. Trust me, it's perfectly normal. I'm not some kind of pedophile. All right, just trust me. Now, the thing I love about these trainers at the end of the battles is the fact that we got bite on battery. Not bad. Not bad. The thing I love is that no matter what happens in that battle, they are always super happy at the end, and I love that. Because they had fun battling, and they're just like, you win or lose. I mean, sure, sometimes their speech does not match that. She just said, why? I lost? Like, oh no, I lost. I hate my life. Not really hate my life, but you know, it's sad times. Rodham, stop looking sad in the bottom corner and bothering me. Don't see me. I'm not sure why I'm avoiding the grass when, um, what do you call it? Battle me. When I want to get an encounter. I'll use moves I, I'll use the move it was so good at. Okay, makes sense. I would also use a move that my Pokemon was good at rather than the bad ones. I say that, but I've been using Pound more than I've been using Bite. So you know what, I, I can't, I can't talk. Pikachu, yo, real talk, I want to get a Pikachu, but, like, I think it's honestly, like, death fodder, because it's not going to do anything, it's just going to die. Like, I don't even mean death fodder in the sense, like, oh, I'm just going to throw it away and let it die. I mean, like, I'm going to send it out, it's going to go down to anything in battle, because it's not very strong. Yeah, I know, I'm hating on Pikachu, but I just feel like it's it's well frail, and it's moveset, it's level up moveset is pretty garbage. I, I remember back in the day when it used to get Thunderbolt. At level 26. Now it's level 42. And I understand why. Because they, they want to put more moves in there. Between. Um, you know. They want to put more moves in its moveset. But putting things like Discharge and Spark. After Thunderbolt makes no sense. Because Thunderbolt's a better move. I completely understand you. 
but at the same time, in my other playthrough, I evolved my Raichu. I evolved my Pikachu into a Raichu at around level 38, no, 30, 34 because I got a discharge. I didn't, I didn't want to wait till 42. And then the game's like, yeah, but you need Thunderbolt to be able to use your Z move. So as boss, you're going to have to find the move reminder or the Thunderbolt TM. And I was like, why? It was very, it was very, very brutal. It was very savage. I was really disappointed. But that's not important. What we're going to do now is we're going to get our first encounter on or in the How Holy Cemetery. And it's going to be a drum roll, please. Okay. We literally, really, you hit the supersonic, the 50% chance to miss, or 45, technically. What are we going to do? Are we going to hit ourselves? Are we Are going to hit the enemy? Let's go, hit the enemy. Um, but yeah, we are getting Gen 1 poison types for days. You know what? I feel like right now I am, ow. I feel like I am a gym leader. I'm literally Koga in the, in the making right now. Koga was poison type, right? I feel like I remember him having Pokemon that weren't poison type. But I could be very wrong. And I'm probably am, I probably am very wrong. Is it a crit? No, wow, okay. Let's go for the bag. Yo, we can do the quick Pokeball toss with that Y button. I love that. And we'll get the Zubat on the team. Because that way, like I said, you know, always catch every single Pokemon you find in your Nuzlocke. Because if you do, it guarantees that you won't have to catch it again later. Like, I may go to a cave and all that's in there is Zubat and some super rare Pokemon. And instead of having to hope for the rare Pokemon, we can omit Zubat because of the glorious rules that are known as species and dupes. Alright, so Zubat is being added to the Pokedex, as you would expect. Number 80 in the Pokedex. Alright, let's see this thing. Zubat the Bat Pokemon makes sense. It has no eyeballs, so it can't see. It checks its surroundings via ultrasonic waves it emits from its mouth. Very cool. Very modern, and we're gonna call this thing Fat Bat. Cause that's what I always call my my. That that that's not how you spell fat. That's how you spell bat. Alright, cool. I, I managed to press the button without having to look at the bottom screen. I feel really talented, fat. I um, for some reason my brain wanted me to move over to you, but I'm not gonna call this Pokemon Fat Bot. That's just stupid. Ah, uh, we'll send him to the box. We're not gonna use him. Probably ever. Like this is probably my last option. Like uh, by all means, I I am a fan of Crobat. But I don't think I'm going to use it. Anyway, guys, I'm realizing now that we have actually been recording for half an hour, which means it's time for us to end off this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. In the next episode, we're going to continue our way down Route 2. I'm not sure if we're going to make it to the, um, the trial site in that episode either because there's a lot to happen between now and then. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun regardless. We're going to visit our first brand new area in the... Uh, I was going to say the Yolola region, but no, it's like the brand new area in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon's, I guess, alternate timeline. I don't even know. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if you did, like I said once before, hit that like button. And of course, if you want to see more videos from this series as they come out, hit that subscribe button also. Regardless, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.